Animals are howling around the Popocatépetl volcano. So the question is, what's going on? Let's just listen first. We have similar thing in the earthquake uh, when it was uh, just hours before the earthquake in Turkey. We had such a thing, and. Uh, I will play that video now. This is a dog, hours before the earthquake. There are numerous cases that animals actually have observed to behave uh, abnormal before the earthquake. And now there is a research which actually um, sets a basis for this. and. Uh, Practically says there are smells, as you call it, ions, into the air, released by the rubbing and the friction of the rocks, which creates the smells, the strangest smells for animals, animals can detect it. What's going on in the Popocatabo? We have to wait and see. If you have rubbed flint together, two pieces of flint, two pieces of stone, or a stone and a rock, you can smell some chemical, uh, you know, smell, smell of burning, something like that, in, after that, if you... If you even touch it to with your nose, you can smell it clearly. So there must be something similar to that happening, that the animals can feel it. The amount of the gas, the amount of the ions, as they call it, released in the environment makes them to react to it. And the very process of the smelling itself involves the ions. Ions react with the sensors in your nose, which are connected directly to your brain, actually. That's the reason they say don't fidget with your nose too much.